Hey YouTube family, thank you for joining me for another 30 minute full body body weight workout. So all you need today is yourself and your mat. If you don't have a mat, just use the floor. Um, if you enjoy this workout, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell to be notified every single time I post a video. So let's go ahead and bring our feet just a little bit wider than our hips. And we're just gonna squat down and come back up. So starting with our footwork working on our leg alignment, and work to get that butt to go behind you, so you're kind of sitting back into that invisible chair. We're gonna get those knees behind the toe. So you can stay here nice and simple. We're gonna make it a little bit more dynamic. We're gonna reach down to the floor, all thing, right to left, and tap it down. And if that's too low, you can always just tap your thigh instead. So just tap that opposite thigh as you come down, or reach all the way, to the floor. Good. And focus that breath. Remember to find that length in the body as you come upright, drawing those hips forward, coming back into our neutral standing position. <laughs> Good. Let's do five more. Sit back in those glutes, feel your butt helping to stand you back up. Good. Deepening into that breath. <laughs> And one more time to each side. And then go ahead and stay upright. So as you stay upright, still stay in the same stance. We're gonna lift your heels up and back down. Heels lift and lower. Heels up and back down. Let's do three more. And two. Hold those heels lifted so you can drop one heel, lift them both up, and then the other heel and back up. So just one heel dropping at a time. So the opposite knee will bend. Good. Working on that balance and coordination. So hug up through the core to help you stabilize. Let's do one more time to each side. And then we'll go back in that double lift and lower. So both heels lower and lift. Both heels lower and lift for five more. Four, three, two, and one more. So go ahead and bring those heels down. Come into just a little bit wider of a stance. We're gonna press your palms together. We're gonna laterally lunge, come back up, and the other side. So staying in our white stance, just moving from leg to leg, and then that stretch of your inner thigh. Good. Deepening into that breath. Sit back into your hips. So reach your hips back behind you like you're looking for that invisible chair again. And we're gonna learn to this one one more time. So as we laterally lunge, reach out to the outside of your pinky toe, come back up, and then other pinky toe, and back up. So reaching a diagonal with that opposite hand to opposite pinky toe. So finding that rotation within our bodies, focusing on the breath, <laughs> warming everything up, twisting through that torso, but also be mindful of what your legs are doing. So think about that leg alignment knee over the ankle as you come down. Good. And of course, make it a small range of motion. You always just tap your knee instead if the floor feels really far away right now. <laughs> so honor your bodies. Good. One more time to each side. And then once we're even, we'll come back to upright. So as you come back to upright, just stand facing towards your mat. Find that extension, reach your hands up nice and high, scoop your abs, dive up and over that beach ball, walk yourself out to your plank. We're gonna pike your hips up, come back into your plank, bend the knees, walk yourself all the way back to upright. Find length in your body, draw into the core, come up and over that beach ball, bend the knees, walk out to your plank, hold plank, pike your hips up, Come back into your plank, and then bend the knees, and walk it back in. And if you need to, just come to that all fours position. As you come down, good. focus on the breath, pike the hips up, back to plank, bend the knees, walk it back in, and roll back up. We're gonna do that a few more times. Hands reach up, lengthen the spine, coming up and over that beach ball. Bend the knees, walk it out, Pike your hips up, back into your plank, bend the knees, walk it back in, and come back up, find length. Good. Two more times. Walking it out. <laughs> find your plank, lift up to pike, 
come back to plank, bend the knees, walk it back in. Let's do that one more time. Find length in your spine, grow tall, up and over that beach ball. Walk yourself out. Pike your hips up, back in a plank, bend the knees, and then slowly come all the way back up. <sighs> nice. So coming back to upright on our mats, standing up tall, hands behind the head. Eric's gonna bring one leg up at a time, and then twist and rotate the spine. So going into our standing crisscross, think about the pelvis staying stable, facing straight ahead, and it's more of your upper torso, the rib cage, rotating around the spine. And deep exhale. Find the length as you come to the middle. Focus on the breath. And feel how your core is helping to move you. So feel those abs working for you here. Good. Deepen into that breath. Let's do five more. Four. And then one more time each side. And then we're gonna come back through center. So as we come back through center, we're gonna squat down, reach the hands back, and then come back to upright, reach those hands forward. So hands back, and back to upright. Hands back, and back to upright. So arms going with us into that squat, press back through the armpits, hug into the abs, let's do five more. Four, three, two, and let's hold down. As we hold down, let's just pump those arms back. So from your hip to behind your body, like we're doing our standing 100, draw into the abs to help you stabilize through the spine and focus on that breath. Good. Holding through those legs for five more. Four, three, two, and then reach those hands forward, come back to upright, open the arms up to a T, and small circles with those arms. So find the length in the arms like your hands are being pulled away from you. Warming up through those shoulders. <laughs> Good. Three more. Two. And reverse, go the opposite way. Focus on that breath. Good. Two more. Hold those arms nice and stable. So I feel like no one can even press them down if they tried. And then bring those legs together like one. Take that right leg out and back in. So one leg out and back in. Lift and lower. Lift it up and back down. Good, focus on that breath, find that stability, that balance with that foot on the floor. Good, arms are nice and strong here. Five more. Four, three, two, and then bring that leg back in, find stability through the middle and then other side, keeping those arms strong. Focus on the breath. Good. Like doing our sideline leg lift series, standing. <laughs> Good, five more, four, and two more. Good, and then bring that leg back down. Stand facing towards your mat again. Hands reach up to the sky, big inhale. Exhale, dive up and over that beach ball. Walk yourself out, find your plank. Remember, you can always come onto your hands and your knees if you need to, but holding here just for five seconds. Four, three, two, and then carefully come down onto those knees. So coming into our all fours position, draw the shoulders away from the ears, and then lift the rib cage up um, towards the height of your pelvis so they're even. Legs together like one. We're gonna take one leg, reach it straight back behind us. I'm gonna bend both elbows, bring my nose to the floor as my leg lifts, and press right back up. Bend and press back up. Elbows into your side and back up. Draw into the core, focus on that breath, resisting through those arms and feel your glute on that leg that's lifting helping to bring the leg up to the sky almost like that leg is helping us with our push-ups five more four three two and then hold those arms to straight keeping that same leg back we're going to take that leg lifted up tap out to the um outside of your mat and then come through center. Tap over across your body and then back to the center. Tap over to the back of your mat and center. Tap it over and center. Tap over and center. Good, deep in that breath, lift up out of the armpits. Work 
going to bring that lowest rib cage up to the height of the pelvis, shoulders away from those ears. Let's do five more. And center. Four. Good. Three. Two. And one more. And then bring that leg all the way back in. And we'll go ahead and switch sides. So take that opposite leg, reach it back. Good. Find that lift out of the armpits, draw your ribs up. And then when you're ready, bend both elbows, lift the leg, and press back up. Bend the elbows, lift the leg, and press back up. Feel like your butt cheek is helping to lift that leg up behind you. Drawing the elbows back. Still focusing on keeping the shoulders away from the ears. And deepen into that inhale. Find your fuller, longer exhale. Staying present within your body, within the movement. And we got five more. <laughs> Good. And four. Three. Two. And one more. Coming back to upright. Keeping that leg lifted. Tap out to the side of your mat. And then center. Tap out a diagonal across your body. And center. A diagonal. And center. Diagonal over. And center. Good. Deepening into your breath. Find the length in your neck. Looking at the floor kind of right in front of your hands. Good. And we got five more. And two. One more time. Bring that leg in. All the way in. Good. And then once you're here, let's go ahead and find that plank again. So step your feet back. As slow as you can, bring your body down to the mat. Good. Hands at your side. Um, kind of right by your shoulders. We're going to press it up and back down. Press up through the arms and the back muscles and lower. Think about keeping your neck long. So it's like you're watching a marble roll out in front of you. But connecting to the back of the armpit, kind of that side armpit area, and your tricep, the back of the arm, helping to press you up. Feeling the back muscles. Feel your mid-back helping to lift you up. Our hips are staying down, so keep it going down. Lifting your abs up towards the spine. Let's do five more like this. Four. Good. Two more. And then hold it about halfway, and let's just lift halfway up and halfway down through the arms. So feel the arms, feel the back muscles for five. Four. Three. Two. All the way up, oh, big extension, and then lower yourself back down. Wiggle those arms forward, open those arms just a little bit wider, shoulders out of the ears, pressing the palms into the mat. Feel your pubic bone down, your abs lift. Let's take just your one leg, so I'm going to say your right leg, lift it up and back down. Lift your right leg up and back down. Right leg lifts and lowers. So as you're doing this, check in that your hips aren't swaying side to side. Stay level through your pelvis and deep in your breath. <laughs> Feel like that leg is being pulled away from you as you lift from your butt cheek. Lift it up and back down. Good. We sit a lot, so we're gonna strengthen those glutes. Strengthen our back body after all that sitting. Remember to stay pre present, connected into your body, into the movement. Got five more. Four, three, get ready to hold it, and two more. Hold that leg lifted, bend the knee in, and then lengthen the leg to straight. Bend it in, and lengthen back out to straight. So if you can, work to keep that quad, your front thigh, lift it off the mat. In and back out. Good. Focus on that length as you reach the leg away, and feel your hamstring and glute, the back of the thigh, helping to bend that knee in. We got five more. Four. Three. Two. Hold that leg bent and little pulses up for five. Four, three, two, hold it up, lengthen back out, and then lower it back down. Oh, get ready for that other side. So now let's take your left leg, reach it up and back down. Left leg lifts and lowers. Work to keep the shoulders of the ears. You always bring your torso even a little bit lower, even though we're not lifted super high right now. So shoulders of the ears. Remember, find that length as your leg lifts. Feel like that leg is being pulled away from your body. Feel your core active. It's like you're 
um, tightening into a belt. So it's your hip bones draw in towards your belly button and belly button pulls to the spine. That's helping us to fire our transverse ab, deepest in our musculature in our abdomen. And we're almost done with these ones. Three more. Two. Hold that leg lifted. Keep it up. Keep it up. Bend it in. Lengthen it out. Bend it in. Lengthen back out. Remember as you bend in, use that hamstring and glute. Work to keep the front thigh covered off that mat. Keeping that leg lifted. Good. Find that length as you reach away. Hamstring and glute help to bend it back in. We got five more of these. They feel amazing. Good. Four. Three. Two. And then hold that leg bent. Hold it bent and little pulses up. Just to where you can go for five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it up. Lengthen back out. And lower that leg back down. Whew. Let's go ahead and flip all the way over to our backs. Let's come see pine on our mats on our backs. <laughs> Good. So plant those feet firmly on the mat, hands long to your sides, and we're in a flat back bridge lifted up and back down. Engage the butt to lift the hips, resist it back down. Flat back lift and lower. Flat back lift and lower. Good. Deepening into our breath. Feel like your thighs are being pulled across the room. So find that length in your body. And work to stay a little soft at your sternum so you feel the back of your shoulder blades connected onto that mat. So no tension in the neck. Check in that your eye gaze is looking kind of straight up to the ceiling or a little bit more of a, at a diagonal out in front of you. Good, five more. Four, get ready to hold it in three. And let's hold those hips lifted and just dip your hips side to side. So like a saucer filled with water, spill it out to the right center and then left. And as you lift your hips back to center, use your butt cheeks to lift it back through the middle. Engage those glutes. Good. Deepening in our breath. Feel like your thigh bones are reaching across the room. And let's do one more time to each side. And then we'll lift your hips to the middle and then slowly bring the hips all the way back down to the mat. <sighs> So bring your hands so they kind of hug in towards the side of your butt. Imprint, press that lower back flat onto the mat and then take your legs up to the sky. So once your legs come up, um, you're gonna reach them straight up to the ceiling, lower both legs down and back up. And we're just gonna keep your head down today. If you really want to, you can lift into a crunch. But I always keep the head down, just lower the legs and lift. Lower to your challenge point and then back up. Feel like you're tightening that belt again. Hip bones hug in. Belly button draws the spine and nice and controlled as you lower and lift it back up. Good, work in those abs. Let's do two more. And on this next one, hold your legs down. Let's just beat those heels together. Beat those heels together. Lengthen the thighs like they're being pulled away from me for five, four, three, two, one, and then bring the legs back in. Set your feet back on that mat. So once your feet are um, down, Lengthen the legs to straight, and then you're going to take one leg back up to the sky and hold the back of your thigh. So hold the back of that left thigh, straighten the leg and bend. Let's do that a couple more times. And then hold that leg to straight, place your hands back on the mat at your side, and let's circle that leg up and around. Circle up, down, and around. And so as you're doing this, focus on the stability of the pelvis. So if you need to, make that circle a little smaller. Also, digging that opposite heel down to the mat. So you're pressing that heel down to help you stabilize. Using your abs to help you circle that leg. Let's do three more. And two. Keeping the rest of the body stable. One more. And let's go ahead and reverse. Go the opposite direction with that same leg. Opposite direction. Yep. Find the control. Just allowing that femur, your leg bone, to circle within that hip socket. Imagine your toe is the tip of a pencil. Good. Three more. And two. And one more. And they can bend that leg in, lengthen it back out to straight, and bring your opposite leg in. So we'll take that right leg up, straighten that right leg, and bend. Straighten the right leg, and bend. But deepen into your breath. Two more. Finding that stretch in your thigh before we leave it up to the sky. And then hold that leg up, hold it up. 
Remember, your knee can always be a little softer. Hands down at the mat, and let's do that large leg circle. So circling across our body, down, up, and around. But remember, make this a smaller circle if your hips are dancing. So if you're having a salsa party, you might want to make that circle a little bit smaller. Focus on the breath. Remember, press that opposite heel down to the mat. That's going to help create some stability, along with anchoring your hip down. Let's do three more. And two. And one more. And then let's reverse and go the opposite direction. Staying within your range of motion, however big or small your circle is within a stable pelvis. Remember, keeping the hips stable. Deepening into your breath. Three more. And two. Good. One more. And then we'll go ahead and bring that leg back in. Set it back down onto the mat. Let's bend both of those knees in. So placing the feet flat on the mat, we're going to articulate up into a bridge. So tuck the pelvis, scoop the abs, peel your spine up to your personal high bridge, and then slowly articulate back down. So articulate up, feel your thighs reach across the room, and then take your time as you peel all the way back to the mat. Good. Deepening into that breath. Let's do two more. Take your time as you mobilize through the spine. And on this next one, let's just go ahead and hold up into your personal high bridge. So hold up using your butt and then take one leg up to tabletop at a time. Let's just march it out. Good. Keeping those hips evenly lifted as we take one foot off the floor at a time. So we're going to prevent the hips from dropping. Weight on the shoulders. Let's do one more time each side. And then hold both feet back down that mat. And then peel your spine all the way down. Good. Lengthen those legs out the straight. Take your hands overhead. Reach the hands up to the sky. Mount the chin and chest. Find your crunch. Use your hands on your thighs if you need to. Slowly peel yourself all the way upright. Spine stretch forward. Articulate back to upright. And let's turn onto our side. So taking your left forearm onto the mat. Adjusting those legs back. So you can choose to keep your knees bent like this. Or they can be straight with your top foot in front of the bottom foot. So top hand gets stay here on your hip. We're going to lift up into our side plank and lower it back down. Lift up to our side plank and back down. Remember, feel free to keep those knees bent as we do this. And see if you can work to just hover it down and back up. Hover and lift. Hover and lift. Hover it down and back up. Good. Lifting out of that bottom armpit. Think about that bottom glute helping to lift your hips up. Focusing on the breath. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Hold it up. Hold it up. Reach your hand up. Rainbow arch over and back to center. Rainbow arch over and back to center. Rainbow arch over and back to center. Two more. Good. And one more. Coming back through middle, lower the, the, those hips back down. Nice. So go ahead and just lay flat on your side. Legs out straight. Lift and lower that top leg. Focus on that breath. Breathing into it. Good. Feel like that leg is being pulled away from you as you lift it up. Five more. Four. Three. And then hold that leg lifted. Maybe take that top hand, press it in front of you. Lift and lower that bottom leg. Just the bottom leg only. Reaching it up to meet your top leg. Let's do five more. Four. Three. Two. And hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. And then bring both legs down. Coming up. Bring yourself to the other side. So right forearm down that mat. Remember, feel free to do this with your knees bent and just lift and lower. Or lengthen those legs out to straight. And then take that top foot onto the mat in front of your bottom foot. So top foot in front of the bottom foot. And let's go ahead and lift it up and back down. Lift and hover it down. Lift, hover it down. So if you can, think about just coming down to that hover. Don't rest. 
There's no reason to rest. We're almost done with this 30 minute full body workout. Good. Focus on that breath though. Lift out that armpit. Maybe take notice if one side is a little bit easier for you compared to the other side. Just working through our imbalances. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And hold it up. Take that top hand up to the sky if you can. Rainbow arch, hips lift up higher and back to center. Rainbow arch, lift the hips up higher and back to center. Rainbow arch, reach and back through the middle. Three more. Good. Two. And one more. And then come back through center and lower yourself back down. So laying flat on your mat, lengthen those legs up to straight. And then talk, take that top leg, lift it up and back down. Top leg lifts and lowers. Good. Feel like that leg is being pulled away from your body. Focus on that length. Again, stable pelvis. So our hips and our torso, they're not moving. We're using our core to help us stabilize. Good, working through that side body. <laughs> Three more. Two. And then hold that leg about halfway. Let's take that bottom leg lifted up and back down. Remember having this top head in front of you is gonna be more assisting for lifting that bottom inner thigh up. Inner thigh lifts and lowers. Inner thigh up and back down for five. Good. Two more. And then hold it up, hold it up, hold up. Good. And then slowly lower everything down. Roll yourself over. Let's come onto your bellies. So once you're on your bellies, let's take both arms out to goal post. So nice and wide. So keeping your torso just in a little mini lift so your chest is hovered off that mat, shoulders of the ears. So you're holding yourself up via those armpits. And then lift and lower both legs. Both legs up and back down. As the legs lift, feel like they're being pulled away from your body. Hold up to the armpits, shoulders out of the ears. Feel your abs drawn towards the spine. Five more. Hold the legs lifted and keep those heels together for five. Four. Two more. And then lower those legs back down. Good. So once you're here, now keep the legs down. Lift the upper body up and back down. Lift your upper body up and resist as you lower. Feel your elbows lift to the ceiling, but also slightly reach back toward your ankles to help assist with the lift. We want to think about that mid-back, that space right between our shoulder blades, helping us to lift. Inhale up, exhale lower. Inhale lift, exhale lower. Three more. Two. And one, and then come on down. So press up onto your hands and your knees. We're gonna come into our all fours position. <laughs> hands and knees. And so you, from here, you could just do a few cat cows. Otherwise, let's step one foot back at a time coming into that plank. Let's pike it up and plank it back out. Pike it up and plank it back out. So again, you could also choose to stay here or come into your plank, draw your knee to your elbow, and then as you pike up, reach the leg straight back, knead your elbow. Pike up, reach the leg back, and knead the elbow. Feel free to keep that foot on the mat. You don't have to reach it up to the sky. It can just be down by your other foot. One more. Coming back to your plank, take that foot back to the mat and the other side. Knead the elbow, pike it up, reach it back, and then knead the elbow. Pike it up, reach it back, and knead the elbow. Scoop, draw into the core, focus on that breath. Three more. Two. And one. Take that leg back, good. And then pike yourself up, walk both feet in toward your hands. Walk your hands in toward your feet. Slowly peel your spine up. <sighs> Coming back to upright, roll those shoulders back. Roll them forward. Roll them back one more time. Good. Just take one hand, reach it up to the sky, grab that hand with your opposite wrist, give it a pull, stretch that side body, and then do that to your other side. And thank you so much for visiting me here today. Don't forget to follow or subscribe so you can stay up to date with more 
classes coming to you each week. Thank you so much for joining me for today's workout. I hope you feel as invigorated as I do. Um, if you enjoyed today's workout, go ahead and toss a comment below. Let me know how you're feeling. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and that bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And keep in mind, you know, friends don't let friends do Pilates alone. So share this video, schedule a time for a virtual workout session with your bestie. And of course, you know, me over here at Jessica and Pilates. I look forward to seeing you for our next workout together. Have a great day.